Now, I gather you've had one or two setbacks over the years. Mainly with designers, but now that I'm designing myself, hopefully that's all behind me. Hopefully. Now, this cosmetic subsidiary you're attempting to set up, <clears throat> I've studied the business plan thoroughly. And? Interesting. Although I have to say, I think there are a few questionable areas. Oh. Particularly concerning marketing and distribution. And uh, what appears to be the problem? Well, I think the product range you're suggesting is good. But the entire marketing concept is... Well, it's hardly innovative, is it, Jan? In fact, I'd call it totally inadequate. Would you? You're not offended? No, not at all. Good. Now, if you have a copy of the business plan, I thought we'd go over a few notes I've made. Right. And, uh... Where would you uh, like to start? Item one, page one. Looks as if it's going to be a lengthy business. But nevertheless essential. Otherwise you may find yourself attempting to raise capital from another bank. It's as simple as that. Sailing the Atlantic both ways, single-handed, that's quite an achievement. It's been done before. Even so, should have done more for your reputation as a sailor than it did. Just because you didn't hear about it, Ken, that doesn't mean to say no one else did. Well, maybe not. But to succeed in the sailing world is no different from the business world. You have to learn how to promote yourself, to generate publicity. And you certainly seem to know all about that. Well, I wouldn't say I know all about it, but I like to think I have a certain flair, yes. Yeah. Well, you do. Setting up boat shows to sell boats you've been owned is brilliant. Yes, yes, that was a bit of a misunderstanding. But it's all been sorted out, and I'm back in business. That's why I'm looking for a sales demonstrator. Someone like you who can handle a boat. Thanks, but I want to sail. I'm not cut out for a career in selling. How do you know if you don't give it a try? The only thing I'm trying to do right now is to raise enough finance to buy a good boat. I'd pay top commission. It still wouldn't be enough would be more than enough to buy any boat you like to take off when you want to. I don't think you understand. I'm not interested in the Isle of Wight to Cherbourg. I know you have bigger horizons. Like round the world, right? Have you any idea how much that costs? Jenny, join me. Do a good job. And once the business takes off, who knows? My company may even sponsor you. Are you serious? I said if I wasn't. Well? When do I start? Come on. The shipping forecast issued by the Metrological Office at 1305 GMT. There are warnings of gales in sea areas Plymouth, Biscay, Finisterre, Seoul. Northwesterly severe gale 9, increasing to storm force 10 imminent. An alliance? That's right, on a takeover of the Puelna Corporation. Can you imagine the gall of that woman? Well, I take it you declined. Thank you. Uh, no, as a matter of fact, I thought it prudent to continue negotiations. That way we find out exactly what our Laura Wilde is up to and how she operates. Yes, but is it really worth the effort? I mean, she hardly poses a commercial threat. Well, not to us, no. I'm sure Ken Masters would view that differently. <laughs> yes, I'm sure he would. I'm sure he would. But then he's not exactly in our league, is he? No, he's not, but the Hudsons most certainly are. Orin has invested in leisure crews. Has he, by George? Mm -hmm. Also owns shares in Rotten. Ambitious young man. Oh, I don't give a damn about Orin. 
No, it's his father that concerns me. And mine. This arrived earlier this morning. Ah, uh, invitation to Highfield. Yes. Apparently he has some kind of announcement he wants to make. Sir Edward Freer and the Hudsons have teamed up with Miss Laura Wilde in order to destroy Charles Freer's global business empire. I really don't think that you should lose any sleep over it. <laughs> oh, look at her move. She's on top form, John. Top form. Yes, yeah, so are you, Edward, by the sound of it. Well, it's good to be back in the company of old friends. I'm uh, sorry about that unfortunate incident at the bank. I know you were counting on my support. Didn't materialize, did it? Well, my hands were tied, John. But rest assured, if you hadn't been reinstated as chairman, I would have taken the necessary steps to ensure the situation was resolved eventually. Would you now? Well, of course I would. You've been a good friend over the years. You need never question where my true loyalties lie. Yes. And I trust I can count on those sentiments being reciprocated. Edward, just why have you brought me down here? I wanted to discuss it with you. I need to be quite sure. I'm afraid I have somewhat of a problem, John. A serious 